Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a different video. I have been watching a lot of YouTube lately and have seen quite a few videos going around all based on this same premise of if you lost all your makeup and could only purchase 10 items, which items would be the first things that you would go out and repurchase? And I thought this was kind of a fun video and um, so yeah, I thought I'd just share in the fun and show you the top 10 products that I would immediately have to go out and repurchase if for some reason all of my makeup were to go away. So um, the first thing I would need would definitely be some type of face product, um, and in my case, a tinted moisturizer, since um, most days that is what I use on my face. And the one that I use and absolutely love is the Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer from Bobbi Brown in the shade Medium. I talk about this all the time. This is all I have been using since I have been quarantined, um, just to have something on my face that gives me a little bit of sun protection when I do go outdoors, but um, also just kind of freshens up my face and makes my skin look a little bit better and um, without anything being too heavy. So definitely would go out and repurchase this. The next thing that I would need would be a concealer and the one that I'm loving at the moment is also from Bobbi Brown. It's the Intensive Skin Ser Serum Concealer and I have this in the color Natural. This just has a simple doe foot applicator and I like that it is kind of lightweight. It doesn't settle into your fine lines and um, it does provide good, I would say medium to full coverage um, since I'm not someone who likes anything too heavy because it does tend to settle into my lines and and this is just a great kind of everyday product. And it also has the skin benefits of the other um, skin serum products that are out from Bobbi Brown. Then I would want to have a nice powder and the one that is my absolute favorite um, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I know this is a huge favorite by so many people. Um, I have this in the shade number two medium and it looks like this. This is just such a finely milled, beautiful powder. This is the second one I've purchased, and this is just an all over great powder for when you need to touch up throughout the day or when you just wanna set your face and you don't wanna look powdery. Um, it's really sheer and just really perfect. It's like the perfect face powder, so we we'll definitely repurchase that. And also from Charlotte Tilbury, I would want to get a bronzer and a highlighter, and I love the two-in-one of the Film Star um, bronze and glow, which looks like this. I have this in the lighter shade and this is just such a great product. I could also use this for um, filling in the crease of my eyes with the bronze, bronze color and then use the highlight a little bit on my brow bone if I wanted to add a little definition to my eyes. So this is a great kind of multitasking product that I think you get a lot of bang for your buck and um, definitely that would be the one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, fourth product that I would purchase. The next thing I would absolutely need in my arsenal would be some type of product for my brows, to fill in my brows. My brows are really sparse um, over the years since I have a thyroid problem and um, am just getting older. I'm finding my eyebrows are just dwindling down to nothing <laughs> um, and I definitely need to fill them in. And the one kit that I think is absolutely amazing is from Bobbi Brown. It's the brow kit. I have it in the dark color or in the, let me just see what this is. Yeah, the dark shade, which has saddle and mahogany, which are two kind of perfect colors. Um, I do find the mahogany, which is over here, to be a little too red. The saddle is a definitely a cooler tone, so I do mix the two of them. And it comes with a cute little applicator brush as well as a tweezer, so you have everything you need to do your brows. And um, I just absolutely swear by this product and will probably use it until they stop making it. Next up would be a great blush for a little pop of color and the one that I would say is kind of my go-to for day to day is the Bobbi Brown uh, Pot Rouge in the color Powder Pink. Now I'm actually wearing the brighter uh, pale pink today just because I felt like I needed a little bit of something on my face because I didn't have much makeup on to do this video. But um, this one is more of a neutral shade that I use uh, most days and I think it's sort of more of an everyday great color. And so if I could only have one to purchase to initially get me going anyway, this would be the one I would start with. So um, yeah, the Bobbi Brown Powder Pink Pot Rouge is definitely one of my favorite favorite pops of color, easy to apply. You only need like a beauty blender or your fingers and it is amazing. 
The next must have product in my makeup kit would be a great mascara. And the one that I have been so loving is the Chanel La Volume Mascara. This stuff is just amazing. You can do everything from an everyday look that I have like today to building it up and doing a really nice smoky eye. It's just fantastic. And even if I didn't have an eyeliner, you can actually apply this into like the roots of your lashes to kind of fake a tight line on your eye. And it just makes your eyes look fantastic. Fantastic. And um, so yeah, the and it doesn't clump. It is just an amazing product. So the Chanel La Volume Mascara would definitely be my pick. And I'm on number eight, and this would be sort of the last essential product I would like absolutely have to have. And I left the last two, since I have two more left, um, as things that I would add um, just because I have two left. But the um, first one would absolutely be a great everyday lipstick, and the Rouge Coco Flash in the color Boy from Chanel is absolutely the winner here. Um, this is such a great kind of everyday color. It's something that is very easy to apply. It's really nourishing on your lips and I just can't say enough about this lipstick. So this would be my choice for the first lipstick I would go out and repurchase. And the last two items for me would be kind of for going out looks since I really haven't been getting out of the house that much. I think with the eight that I've shown you, um, that would be sort of my everyday go-to products and these would be if I'm going out and doing something special. So the first one would be definitely an eyeliner and my favorite eyeliner is the Caviar Ink um, Gel Liner from Bobbi Brown and I actually just dropped this the other day and I don't know if you can see that little um, crack or whatever on the side but didn't seem to impact it at all um but anyway uh yeah this is a great liner and um it just stays on all day it is a really deep 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 brown gray color um, that I like to use instead of a true black. Um, but when I'm really going out somewhere super dressed up, I definitely go for the black one. But this is just my favorite and it's kind of a go-to if I'm looking to give myself a little bit more definition and really make my eyes pop. And the last product I would go out and purchase would be a red lip for going out. And the one that, I have a lot of red lipsticks, but the one that I would purchase first if they even still make it, I'm not sure. This might've been a limited edition, but it's the Chanel um, Rouge, I think it's called the, I can't even see what it says, but I think it's the Rouge Allure Velvet. Um, and it is in the color number five and it looks like this. And this is a great, um, I would call this sort of a demi matte lipstick. It's not super matte, but it is matte. Um, and it just is creamy enough. Um, it is the perfect shade of red. It is just a great way of giving your face a little pop of color. And I would definitely go for a red lipstick as a little something extra in my kit. So those are my top 10 makeup products that I would go out and have to repurchase if all my makeup were to suddenly be gone. And um, of course I would build my kit from here and would, you know, want to have a few little extras in my life but I really think I could get by with these maybe if I were going on a vacation somewhere for an extended stay and I could only take a small amount of things these are the things I would take and um, I think I could absolutely get by with them so would love to know what some of yours are so if anyone's interested in doing this video it's not really a tag but I have seen a lot of videos like this going around so um, let me know if you do it and I would love to see what your picks are and uh, thank you all for watching I hope you're all doing well out there and I will see you soon in my next video.